We are working developing news. A 51-year-old man has died following a hit and run here on Airport Road in Warwick this morning. Donald Boss of West Warwick was found lying in the road near the Speedway gas station. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Newport with what police say happened, or I should say in Warwick, with what police say happened and the latest on the search for the driver responsible. Brandon. Well, Mike, police were out here for hours this morning. Many people might have been caught in the detours. The road was closed during that time. It's obviously back open now. Police really turning their attention to try to narrow in on who was behind the wheel. A fatal hit and run on one of Warwick's most traveled roads. Police say 51 year old Donald Boss of West Warwick was struck and killed early Tuesday morning. Some of the people we spoke with who live nearby reacting to the news. It's a 25 mile an hour zone, but I seen cars go up to 60, 65, 70. But police confirming speed was not a factor, neither was weather. Instead, investigators say this started in the nearby Dave's Marketplace parking lot. Around 4 a.m., Boss was dragged by a vehicle onto Airport Road. He detached from the car, and it kept going. Boss was taken to the hospital where he later died. I uh, woke up and I saw all the lights flashing. Police were on scene for more than four hours Tuesday morning, closing the entire portion of Airport Road. Cars forced to detour. Investigators were seen collecting evidence from the street. They stopped in nearby businesses, too. It's still unclear what led to Boss being pulled by the car, but police say everyone involved knew each other, with police turning their efforts to find who was behind the wheel. And police have not named any suspects, but they do say that they have some people in mind. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Warwick Police. We're live in Warwick. Brandon True at 12 News. Investigation is underway in Warwick after a man died following a hit and run this morning. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt has been on top of the story all day long. He joins us now live from Warwick with the latest. Brandon. Well, Mike, part of Airport Road here was closed for hours this morning. Many people might have been caught up in the detour. Police tell me that this case involves multiple scenes. It all started across the street. I woke up and I saw all the lights flashing. People who live in the area reacting to the news a man was struck and killed here Tuesday morning. 12 News cameras on scene shortly after Warwick Police. When investigators got here around 4 a.m., they found 51 year old Donald Boss critically injured laying in the road. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. I'm not surprised. At first, those we talked to thought speed was a factor, but Warwick police say otherwise. 12 News has learned this started in the nearby Dave's Marketplace parking lot. Police say something happened and Boss was dragged by a car onto Airport Road where he broke from the vehicle. The car kept going. Our camera saw another vehicle in the middle of the crime scene. Police clarifying, saying it belonged to a good Samaritan who stopped to perform CPR. Those helping hands, police say, unrelated to this case, but they believe the other people involved all knew each other. Nearby businesses telling me that they are cooperating with investigators, providing surveillance video and witness statements, with people living here saying one thing is top of mind. The families, you know, I, I just I hope they, uh, you know, he, the families are all doing well with this. Police are continuing to look for the person or people that are responsible for this. They are asking anyone with information to reach out to them immediately. Live in Warwick, Brandon True at 12 News.